Hey, and welcome to another video in the Lunar Academy Playable series. Today, we'll be sharing some useful tips that'll help you reduce the size of your playable ad. The first thing to call out is that Lunar provides a lot of options in the UI to help you reduce size. Nothing that you do in the Lunar UI will change the raw assets. You can happily apply some of these optimization techniques with the knowledge that your Unity project will continue working as normal. And secondly, whilst Lunar can usually get you over the line in terms of file size, Nothing here is a substitution for optimizing the raw assets. If you can reduce the mesh size or animation keyframes at the source, then it's highly recommended that you do so. And as a benefit, smaller size usually equals better runtime performance too. So let's get started and show you the UI for controlling your asset sizes. As we saw in the earlier video, the first tab in the asset section allows you to force, include, or exclude an asset. Obvious to say, but removing assets you don't use is by far the most impactful way that you can reduce size. Shortly, we'll show you how to do this efficiently. Generally, textures can be the heaviest of all asset types in your playable. The texture view allows you to apply generalized optimization on resolution and formats, and also individual file level optimizations. The key thing to remember here is that whilst your project likely contains high definition textures for all device types, the output from Luna will be small and running as a web view as a playable. We don't really need the most high resolution textures for that. Here you can set a default max size for all of your textures. If a dimension exceeds the limit, it will be downsized proportionally. Of course, it's a trade-off, so we recommend reducing this and testing the visual output. We also provide format and compression options to further reduce the size. Your usage of this general setting will depend on your project and asset usage. It's typically recommended to apply compression at a texture level, as this gives you more control. To do that, you can drop to the second section for the texture level optimization. Here you can isolate individual textures and apply settings accordingly. We'll leave it as it is for now and show you how you can use this a little later. All of the tabs in this section have a general and asset specific control for fine tuning. Next up, sounds. You can choose general settings for format and bitrate. The Fonts tab allows you to control the alphabet and font size. The alphabet controls which characters get rasterized into an atlas, and so only including the characters you will need will help reduce that atlas's size. The font size controls line height measured in pixels for the rasterization tool. Bigger sizes will allow for crisper fonts, especially at bigger font sizes, but glyphs can take more space in the atlas. Both meshes and animations are a little trickier. As mentioned earlier, if you can, we recommend ensuring that the meshes and animations in Unity are as optimized as possible. But if you're unable to do this and want a quick way to reduce the size, then Luna offers the ability to store the mesh and animation data in half precision floats, reducing the size taken by 50%. It is almost impossible to predict whether it is going to be noticeable in the final product, but in many cases, the difference will be negligible. Our recommendation here is to enable this and check the output. You may need to remove it for specific meshes or animations if you require very fine detail. So that gives you a really quick rundown of the different optimization techniques available in Luna for your assets. But you need somewhere to start and find out which assets are in your project and importantly, taking up space. That's where the size breakdown section comes into play. Let's prepare a build for the app Lovin platform. Simply select the network and hit build and estimate size. Once it's complete, you'll see a full breakdown of your playable ad. Expanding each asset section allows you to see the individual files that are taking up space. And here's a good example. This logo texture was just in the project for an example and is never used in the actual playable. I can simply make a note of the name, head back over to the asset section and exclude it. Rerunning the estimate shows that I've saved a good amount of size. So that's covered the basics with size optimization. Good luck, and we're looking forward to hearing from you in our developer forums on some good wins that you've had with size optimization with Luna Playable. Thanks for listening, and see you again next time.